Slash effect is a command that allows you to add and remove effects from players. Effects are things like poison or hunger or regeneration or strength, anything like that. Um, potion effects also uh, is another way to call them. Um, so we can give an effect using effect give and then a selector. Um, at A is all players, at E is all entities, at N is the nearest entity, at P is the nearest player, at R is a random player, and at S is the uh, entity running the command, and then obviously my name is your user, my username, so that's me. Uh, we'll just do at S, because it's just give it to me. It's easier to type than my username. Um, and then these are all of the effects. I'm not gonna go over what all of the effects do. You can look on a Minecraft Wiki article for that one pretty easily. Um, but let's just do glowing uh, for fun. Um, I don't know, you might be able to, yes, you don't not have to include the Minecraft namespace, um, but you can if you want. Um, and that's what it'll autofill if you try and do that. Um, you can then type a durability, a durability, a duration or a, uh, or infinite here. So infinite obviously means the effect will last forever. So this is very handy if you want to give say like players in your map saturation for the duration of the map. So you just like, don't have to worry about constantly giving it to them. Or if you're building your map and you're just like, I just want night vision until I don't. So just give me infinite night vision. Um, there's some pretty common use cases for that. Um, or you can set an actual duration and this is in seconds. So you can't get more granular than this. One second is the minimum amount of time that you can give for a, an effect duration to last. If we just give myself glowing for five, five seconds. Uh, you can then set an amplifier. It doesn't do anything for uh, glowing, but um, this will basically increase the strength of the effect. Um, in previous versions, I believe this was changed to 1.19, you could set um, amplifiers higher than the effect would actually allow, and this would cause some weird behavior, like jump boost would actually prevent you from jumping if you set a high enough uh, amplifier, and levitation would cause you to just like float in place and things like that. That has been removed in 1.19, so if you're trying to do a command or anything like that um, that yeah, stops the player from jumping or causes them to float in place, I would highly recommend looking into attributes uh, as that's sort of the new supported way to actually do those kind of uh, effects. And I do have a video on attributes that you can check out. Uh, it should be linked in the info card uh, in the corner way over there that my, you can't see my hand reaching, but it's over there. <laughs> So anyway, doesn't, this doesn't matter for going, so we're just gonna set one. Uh, and you can set whether or not you want to show particles. Particles are annoying, so please always say true. <laughs> you don't have to always say true, but uh, it can definitely be valuable. So uh, now I have the glowing effect, and you're like, I oh, don't see the freaking glowing effect. What is this guy talking about? Okay, well, I was too slow, but there you go. I have the glowing effect. The effect exclusive to Java Edition. <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously there are lots of other effects, so. Um, you know, some very common ones. Jump boost is very cool. Strength, awesome, very nice. Um, levitation, you want to fly. Fly for 10 seconds. And this one will increase with the amplifier. So if we just did like levitation one, you know, I'm kind of drifting up here a little bit, but there's nothing insane. And, and, and levitation 100. Um, <laughs> Goodbye, world. <laughs> I am out of here. Anyway, that is a brief overview of the effect command. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.